in a highly anticipated return game for Justin Fields that was just five minutes from becoming a statement win, the Chicago Bears still found a way to lose. We'll discuss the game and express all of our frustrations after the intro. Let's, let's go. Let's. go. Last thing, the most important piece is we're going to take the North and never give it back. Subscribe. Welcome to Three Point Stance Pod, where we don't claim to be experts. We just give our takes, take it or leave it. We'll be fine either way. Let's, let's go. Hello, Three Point Stance viewers. This is Octavius Vernell Brown reporting for Three Point Stance Podcast. Call me OV for short. Take a second to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the show in a big way. What up and welcome back to another episode of Three Point Stands Podcast. I am your host, Veal. We hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend, but let's go ahead and get right into the Chicago Bears versus the Detroit Lions game. The Chicago Bears lose another game where both the offense and defense played great football for the majority of the game, only to take their foot off the gas and shit the bed. Justin Fields returned from a thumb injury and played with the confidence we've seen over the last two fully healthy games versus the Broncos and the Commanders. The kid balled out. Our boy was decisive. He made plays with his arms and his legs. He played as efficient and as balanced as he has since the 2022 New England Patriots win, in my opinion. The Bears defense played with an intensity we've yet to see all year versus a great offense. For most of the game, they held the Lions offense that's ranked second in total yards in check. For three and a half quarters, the Chicago Bears held the Detroit Lions to 14 points. Yes, I'm talking about the 2023 Chicago Bears. For the final six minutes of the game, our coaches decided to take the foot off the gas and play to not lose. Let me not sugarcoat this. They played scared. And don't give me that they just don't trust Justin Fields bullshit either. Justin Fields laid a beautiful pass out to Tyler Scott and the boy pissed down his leg. So I'm in position to make a play here, right? It's not big time. It's not a playmaker. The moment's just a little bit too big. It's going to piss down my leg. Big shout out to Brendan Clinton, a.k.a. Coach 30 on TikTok. Go give him a follow ASAP. Buddy is hilarious. But speaking of pissing down legs, the Bears get four turnovers and yet still, still, still lose. lose. Let me break this down for you. In the history of the NFL, teams were 48-0 and when getting four turnovers. The Bears now sit alone in history as the only team to lose a game with four turnovers. We are currently and have been a historically bad team over the last two years, yet no one is getting fired for their actual job performance. Yet teams like Pittsburgh and Buffalo are firing folks mid-season with winning records this ownership and their standards make it hard as hell to be a fan so on that note we're gonna go ahead and wrap the show because internally i'm still flipping tables and after that loss i'm afraid i might pull some dumbass dallas fan foolery Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Three Point Stands Podcast. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you enjoyed the show. And as we always say here at Three Point Stands Podcast, stand, 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 stand